guys, it is time to check ourselves. And I repeat, it is time to check ourselves. So look, y'all, God checked me the other day. God checked me the other day. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So for a couple weeks, I was feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, overtaken, overburdened, overloaded. And I was stressed out, which I have no reason to be stressed out. I'm supposed to be trusting in God. And so after feeling this way, I said, you know what? I'm going to just take some time off. I'm going to take some time off and I'm going to stay at home by myself or with my kids if I need to. Which the first day I did, I had my kids and we stayed home. And the second day, my kids were gone. I was home by myself. My husband was at work. So I did my usual gym, grocery store, clean up the house. And I spent some time with the Lord uh, while I was watching dishes. I listened to the Bible. I listened to some sermons. I cleaned up, took a shower, and I was with God. It was just me and God. Made some lip gloss products. I hadn't made lip gloss in months, guys. And I'm just thinking to myself, I finally feel at peace, like I'm getting stuff done. And God spoke to me like, yeah, you need to check yourself. Sometimes we do too much because we've learned something. And so the more I grow in God, the more I want to do. I get excited about doing, doing, doing. Even with business, when I learn something, I just want to jump and I want to get into it and I want to do it. But I don't know who needs to hear this. Just because you know something does not mean it's time to do it. Number one, many are called, but few are chosen. So sometimes we can know something about something and think that we are called to do it or or God has chosen us to do this thing. Just because we know information does not mean it's time to do something. And I get so excited. I pour into people. I minister to clients at work. I help people at the house. I, I try to make sure I pray. I fast. I worship. I read the word. I want to make sure that I'm doing everything that I'm telling everybody else to do. And I remember one day my husband's like, have you been praying? Your attitude stinks. Have you been praying? And I'm thinking in my head, the nerve of you. And the reality was I was so engulfed in doing for others because I possessed new knowledge that God had unlocked to me in my excitement that I was not ready for what I was doing. God wants to move. God wants to work. God wants to do for us. God does not want to deny us of the things that we need. But on the flip side, God knows what we can handle and God knows what we can bear. So many people are on social media as being pastors, prophet, preachers, teachers, evangelists, and they don't know that that is an anointing. That is a calling that God has placed on certain people's lives. Now, yes, you can have multiple callings, but Sometimes people can walk in territories that they're not yet ready for. So I don't know who needs to hear this. God knows that you can do it. God sees that you can do it. But sometimes you're not ready. The worst thing a person can do is do things prematurely because there won't be longevity in it. 
And that is what I had to learn. God is not denying me. God wants me to have. God wants me to have clients. God wants me to be teaching. God wants me to be helping others. God wants me to be preaching his word and helping people get saved and helping people to know the knowledge of Christ and helping me to help others to learn the information that is in his good book. But he wants me to be developed. He wants me to be mature. He wants me to be walking in grace. And I don't know who needs to hear this. You see so many people online and I know that you want to jump out there. You want to be ready. You want to be that next person. You want to be that person going viral. You want to be that person with the views. You want to be that person God uses. You want to be that person that's in the pulpit or that's teaching or that's doing whatever you feel like God has called you to do. But God wants you to be ready, guys. Make sure you pray, fast, worship, and read your word because you got to get ready because God is going to use you. Love you guys.